Hello, mommy, daddy, and Willie. This is Rosalda, of course, coming to you from London. So, um, I'm awake right now. It's one o'clock in the morning. So then I believe it's like five or six or some, some afternoon time over there, afternoon, evening. And so, um, yeah, the plane ride was kind of it was long it was about 10 hours the girl right beside me she kept barfing like every time every time i looked over she kept throwing up and then um but it was really cool they had like video games i watched pirates of the caribbean the one that just came out recently they had like all these new um movies and everything and so like you know it's right behind the uh the seat so it was okay i really didn't get much sleep because um it was still so crammed and everything um yeah that was kind of the plane ride there was a little bit of turbulence and stuff so i mean that's to be expected and um what else yeah my my, my first perception of europe when i was or at least um london when i was coming in was i was kind of expecting like a lot of cities but i saw bricks everywhere it seems like these people love bricks. This this place right here. Ugh, wait, don't look at that. See that right there? That's made out of bricks. Everything in like the United States is kind of just made out of dry wood. So that was my first um, perception. There's a lot of trees here. Like I was expecting something like San Francisco, where there's hardly any trees, and like. Um, I don't know like if I could show you right now they have me on the ethernet so I don't have Wi-Fi so I can't like take the I can actually take this outside come to think about it and I can just upload it later on and so maybe tomorrow or so um, when there's light I'll um, show you how it looks up outside basically my apartment area they to me I feel like I'm camping there's so many trees and it looks like it's so far away from everything and I'm kind of upset about that because I saw everybody else's apartment and their apartment was like right there in town where they can ride a bike easily and get to all the shopping stuff and then for us I can't it just seems like no matter what I do I can't escape the hills so um I'm still thinking I might get a bike or something like that and just like that'll just be my exercise kind of thing um let me see outside no you can see anything outside it's too dark you'll just see the reflection um I like my room I'm I'm so I'm just mad about this my room like right here is the hallway so every time people open up the door I can hear every time people talk in the hallway I can hear it I can hear everything so I might get some um, earphones or something like that um, other than that like yeah I'm just gonna get some earbuds to deal with that um, the kitchen the kitchen is extremely small man mommy I say, you know the, the refrigerator that I have at my house, the little one that go up to your knee and stuff, the least modern one? They have two of those, and that's supposed to service the whole dorm, and I think, like, the, and I think, um, everybody has, like, there's, like, eight of us, there's six to eight of us, and so, I'm just, like, how can you live on such a small refrigerator me myself i can i can feel one of them things and then we only have one freezer so honestly i really don't know what i'm going to do about the food i like i don't want to like have to eat out all the time and stuff but like it looked like i can't do nothing about it and um so i'll just figure it out when it comes um they have a cleaning system they have like like every week we all clean something and they said that if I don't clean it then they'll charge me like um 16 no like 20 pounds which is like basically 40 pounds or 40 American dollars every time I forget to um clean something a week and then they said they'll take it out of my deposit <laughs> okay man so yeah um 
a lot of um the buses i mean like yeah like you've seen oh the airline the airline i said it looked like um remember uh um what is it uh not shaggy um uh uh, uh. it's that man man austin powers the like that purple plush stuff the airplane looked just like that i was surprised and then um yeah everybody around here like all the international kids are here so everybody has an accent it seems like on the bus ride to this place everybody was quiet so i don't know if we were supposed to be quiet but of course you know me i won't quiet i was all like kingston university what's up international kids and everybody was looking at me like i was crazy and i don't care that's how you make friends you gotta stand out right i mean my hair already kind of stand out for me and then um yeah i guess i guess let me come show you my room now i'm i we all have our own rooms and our own bathrooms and um right now it's quiet so i don't know i haven't really been outside my room ever since like they brought me here because all the people all the people who i made friends with they're on the other side so they're like three four miles away from me and i don't know how to use the bus system and i don't even think the bus runs right now i haven't seen a bus um the driving like everybody says like you know the um the british car for willie is different so you know like where i usually drive the um they drive on the passenger side so that was kind of weird because i would look down and i would see nobody there and that's the passenger side and then it kind of seems like um you know like how in america like the, the white line the divider and stuff that like you ain't supposed to cross it unless you want to change lanes to me i'm not sure if it's because we were in a big bus or something but everybody who i saw it seems like that was a guideline to stay in the white line because i just saw people driving in the middle of the lane like and they would just go to the side when they saw our charter bus come and so like i thought that was funny i would like that <laughs> yeah and they said that um well, the website says that we can actually drive here since I have, like, my American um, driver's license. So, but I don't think I'm going to be driving anytime soon. Okay, and so, ah, yeah, I miss California. So, let me come show you the room. So, it's kind of messy because I started unpacking a little bit. So, let me get out. I have managed to do the bed. So, let me go put that back. All right, so, they got some type of bowling chip board right on the top of my bed. I ain't gonna be using that. Okay, so, just like in San Francisco, there go my bed, right, for right now. Right here, you'll see the bathroom. I just came from taking bath. Let me show you where the bathroom light is actually. I'm gonna unplug this computer right quick. Um, okay. <coughs> this is the plug. This is for my room. This is for the bathroom. So I have to turn the bathroom light on from the outside. Oh, let me turn the bathroom light on. Ooh. I always forget, you know, I am not used to that. And then, here's my personal bathroom. It's small. Let me try to do it outside so you can kind of see. So, here come the showers. Here come the toilet. It's very deep. And then here go the, um, my sink and everything. Okay. Let me... Dang it, I'm still not used to these lights. And the light take forever to turn on. Like, Okay, that's the bathroom light. Um, let me got my own little personal mirror, right? Oop. Oh, that was it. That's a mirror. I got my mirror. And I got my little 
drawer right here. And then my own little desk. The desk is bigger, but um, I got other stuff on it right now. So that's it. All right. I'll see you later. I'll make another video soon, okay? Bye. I love you guys. I hope you're doing good. Bye-bye. Mwah.